everyone, welcome to Ivy's YouTube channel. In our previous videos, we have seen how important guesstimate questions have become in order to clear interview rounds. Today, in this video, we shall be discussing yet another example of a guesstimate question. So we need to find out how many people are living in our housing society. In order to answer this question, we need to make a few assumptions. First assumption is that the society has two types of houses, apartments as well as row house. Secondly, that the apartment blocks are numbered from 1 to 30. That means that there are 30 apartment blocks. And thirdly, there are four row house lanes. In each lane, there might be eight row houses. That brings us to 32 row houses in total. Let's now move to the solution part. We need to make a few calculations in order to understand how many members are living in the housing society. Say that in an apartment block in the society, there are three apartments which have nine floors each. In that case, we can say that there are 27 floors and we multiply that with 30 which gives us around 810 flats. When we move on to the row houses, we see that each row house has got two floors and each floor has got two flats each. That makes a total of 128 flats. So in total, we have 810 flats plus 128 flats which make that 938. Now, we all know that the average household in India has approximately 5 members. We also know that some flats cannot be occupied at the same time. Let's estimate that approximately 10% of the flats were not occupied. In that case, in order to find out the final number of people living in the society, we need to multiply the number of flats with 90% occupancy and the average household numbers in India. This brings us to the answer of 4,221 people. So we can approximately say that there are around 4,221 people living in my housing society. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Keep tuned in yourself to the IB's YouTube channel in order to get more updates on the guesstimate questions. Thank you.